We're back after Memorial Day weekend. Hope everyone had a great extended weekend on this Memorial Day for the Twin Cities Real Estate Pros Podcast. My name is Ron Johnson, licensed real estate agent with Remax Advantage Plus, joined as always by David Nelson, licensed real estate agent with Remax Advantage Plus. And Ed Nelson is our guest today. He's from the Minnesota Home Ownership Center, the manager of communications and marketing. We're gonna to talk to Ed about some various resources that the Minnesota Home Ownership Center has as far as home buyer education and resources for both homeowners and home buyers and kind of set the scene for you. We are the Minnesota Twin, or Twin Cities Real Estate Pros Podcast. We are live on Facebook over there and we're live on Facebook over here. We are also on our website at TwinCitiesRealEstatePros.com. We'll have a podcast available on SoundCloud and we're also on YouTube on the ImperialHomeTeam.tv page. So those are all the things we've got going on. And David, I know you've got a couple of listings coming up yeah. um, that you've talked about the last couple of shows. And Correct. And we're gonna keep pumping those out. Why not, you know? And first of all, I wanna apologize for everybody. Uh, last week, our Facebook Live, for some reason, I had no audio. So we weren't pantomiming for 30 <laughs> minutes. Uh, just for some reason, has no audio. So again, thank you for uh, watching it and reading our lips. Good thing we're real estate agents and not production professionals. Yeah, thank God. I would, we'd fail. So uh, once again, I got these two pr awesome houses coming in the market. They're taking pictures of them this week. So I would foresee this one, the 11786, 177th Street in Lakeville. That one should be coming on possibly the end of this week, if not... Um, over the weekend or early next week, coming in at 365, four bedrooms, four bathrooms. It is a great house in a wonderful neighborhood. You know, it's in the um, Lake Villa Gulf Estates. So if, to get in that price range in that neighborhood, it's a, it's a heck of a deal. So we foresee this one going by pretty quickly. And then lastly, my favorite city, Dundas. We've got that beautiful house, four bedroom, four bathroom, 270 at 564 Summit Avenue. Uh, please go on our Zillow page or look at our video because we have awesome pictures of both these houses. But the one particularly on Summit Avenue has um, amazing updates. The basement's finished. It is a house that's gonna sell very quickly. It's on a cul-de-sac. So it's one of the higher end, uh, very desirable neighborhoods in Dundas. So if you wanna get into that neighborhood, either you can wait for the market and maybe see if you can get in without multiple offers or you can contact me, 612-986-4670. Uh, or David at ImperialHomeTeam.com so we can get in there and check out those houses. All right, perfect. So a couple of things I've got going on. I'm looking forward to June. I've got five closings on the book in June, on the books in June. So yes. <laughs> very excited about that. Also over the weekend, I got two buyer deals done. I, I found a, a nice town home for a buyer in New Hope. We're gonna close on that just after the 4th of July weekend. And then we found a home for another one of my buyers in South Minneapolis. So five deals co closing in June. Um, assuming everything stays together, which <laughs> we're pretty far down the road now for, for a couple of those. And then two more deals going on um, in, in July that'll close. So I've got uh, in June, I've got a couple closing in St. Louis Park, uh, one in Blaine that was a listing of mine. I've got a, a listing in, in Lakeville that's closing, a buyer deal in Eden Prairie, and then the two buyer deals that I just got done <laughs> over the weekend, uh, one in South Minneapolis and one in New Hope. So some of the things that we've got going on with our with our yeah. exciting new listings and some of the deals we've got going Yeah, this, this week, we'll, <clears throat> I've got two closings today and two on Thursday. That's perfect, yeah. That's a nice way to start June. Right. Well, and May and start June. And May and start June. So you're just gonna, once we hit like the after 4th of July, you're taking the rest of the year off. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> just gonna. Yeah, I've, I've recruited some PTO, some time off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that paid vacation that we get is real estate. Yeah, so awesome. Yeah, just going to sit back and just go fishing at my mom's house up in northern Minnesota and just relax. There you go. Sure. So if you're looking to buy or sell, either one of us can help you out. You can reach us at the Twin Cities Real Estate Pros website at TwinCitiesRealEstatePros.com. Uh, David, kind of uh, more South Metro, and I'll go anywhere. So <laughs> we've got the Twin Cities yeah. covered. Yeah, I mean, as you can tell, we've... I'm, a, I'm in Dundas. Dundas, yeah. So, yeah, you'll, you'll go anywhere if you're going to go to Dundas. Yeah, and even like I told you over the weekend, I, I broke my uh, my cardinal rule and I left the t South Metro. I was in Hopkins and Minnetonka, you know, <laughs> Spring Lake Park. I was like, man, I really expanded my horizons. Yeah, so there's houses for sale out there too. So I've seen a couple. Those. Perfect. Beautiful. All right, so again, we're going to bring in our guest now. His name is Dave, Ed Nelson. Uh, no <laughs> Wrong Nelson. David yeah, Nelson. No, no, no relation Nelson at all, no. So this is Ed Nelson. He's with the Minnesota Home Ownership Center, a manager of marketing and communications. 
and the Minnesota Home Ownership Center I'm pretty familiar with because I've taken some continuing education courses that you've presented um, over the last couple of years. And I know you do a lot of things with home buyer education, also with helping people maintain their homes and, and stay in their homes. So mm -hmm. kind of give us a high level, I guess, of what the Minnesota Home Ownership Center is. Sure. The Minnesota Home Ownership Center is a nonprofit organization that oversees the statewide network of other nonprofit, governmental, and tribal organizations that offer that home buyer education and counseling. Um, we also, the, the counseling service is that one-on-one -on -one service for people who might need just a little additional hand-holding to get into home ownership. Home buyer education literally starts at the beginning, covers start to finish everything that goes into home ownership so that you as agents, your buyers are ready to go. And if there are consumers out there that are just unsure, well, what do I do first? What do I do next? What do I sign? What do I not sign? You know, what, what, um, you know how do I make sure no one's taking advantage of me um, in this whole process? It's kind of scary uh, to do it for the first time. We teach start to finish everything that goes into home ownership. The, the workshop, whether they do it online or in person, starts by asking the question, is home ownership right for you or not? Not is home ownership right. We all know there's advantages to home ownership. Those of us who live and breathe home ownership every day, we know there's advantages to home ownership. Uh, the kids do better in school, better health outcomes, uh, more civically engaged. There's all kinds of advantages to being a homeowner. But is it right for you at this point in your life? And so they start by asking that question and then walk through the entire process. How do you choose a real estate agent? What documents should you sign? What should you not sign? Why is the bank asking for these documents? Is this right? Is something going on, et cetera? Right through to what their rights and responsibilities are when they're living in the home. So we teach from start to finish everything that's involved in home ownership. Um, and the, the, the workshop known as the Home Stretch Workshop is the key that unlocks the door um, to any of the special mortgages or the low to moderate income mortgages, affordable mortgages is how we refer to them, um, as well as any down payment or entry cost assistance program in the state of Minnesota. And there's a lot of them out there. So if people are thinking, hey, you know what, I might need a little additional handholding, I might need a little additional funds, I, you know, my income is stable, but boy, if I only had a couple thousand dollars, I might be able to get into home ownership right now. That down payment entry cost assistance is available. We can talk about where to find all that in a second. Um, but the, the class is going to be the key that unlocks the door. All of them require that home stretch or framework, which is the online version. We also offer what I refer to as home buyer counseling or uh, home ownership advising. And this is one on one, independent, individualized counseling. So someone can sit down with a, a non biased, non profit organization to look at their specific situation and see are you really ready for home ownership yet? Um, what's your credit look like? What is your, you know, what's your income? What are your outlays? What, what's everything in your, in your picture right now in your world that's going on? Are you ready for home ownership? Do you qualify for any of those down payment assistance programs? Are there decent, good quality mortgage products out there that uh, can get you into home ownership now? Um, or you know, any of those kind of questions that pop up? Hey, I saw this sign stuck to a. Um, a telephone poll the other day that says I can rent to own my own home right now. <laughs> Should I go ahead and do that? You know, people need to be extremely careful. During the, the crisis, one of the, the only good thing that came out of our crisis, the, this housing crisis that we we're just coming out of, is the fact that a lot of the vultures were washed out of the market. Mm -hmm. A lot of the, the dangerous products, the dangerous loan products no longer exist. A lot of the, the vulture I'm not going to get myself in trouble here with some real estate agents sitting at the table, well, but I mean, some of those vulture <laughs> no, no, agents, the, the, the other ones, the, the other, exactly right, not exactly us. right. Not, not who I'm chatting with here oh, today, <clears throat> but those vulture agents have left and those vulture dangerous, dangerous loan products were gone and we're slowly starting to see them trickle back into our market. <clears throat> so, yeah, and I think you bring up a good point about, <coughs> excuse me, about the unbiased part. So obviously you would probably like someone to get to you before they got to us or their, their lender. But even if you're working with a real estate agent, it'd be good for the real estate agent to refer them to you because then you could say, you know, you guys don't really necessarily have skin in the game, right? We're a buyer, we're looking for our commission eventually, the, the lender is looking for their commission, but they can sit down with you and you can say, look, I don't, I care if you buy a home, but I don't care who you use, Put exactly your real estate agent and your lender. So you can give them just kind of a clean slate and say, okay, yeah, is it a good time? Yeah, no, you, I'm glad you're the one who said it and it wasn't me. That, <laughs> that's exactly right. We would love to see consumers, you know, before they're two weeks away from closing and just, Hey, is this okay? You know, from, from day one, we'd love to come alongside you as agents and help your clients to make sure that they're ready. 
all of the members of the Homeownership Advisor uh, Network, that's the network that the Homeownership Center oversees, are either nonprofit, tribal, or governmental organizations. We don't make a dime on the decisions that the consumers make. And many consumers need to understand is that, well, you guys do. You make a commission at the end, depending on what consumers decide to do. The, the loan officer, the lender makes, makes money, depending on the decisions that the consumer makes. We don't. So all we want to do is come alongside you guys in the work that you do to make sure your clients know what's involved in the process um, and help them make the best decision for their long-term housing stability. Um, we do care if people buy homes. We, you know, we are the home ownership center. But for us, it's if someone takes the home stretch class, for example, walks through the whole process, does all the paperwork, does all the thinking that home stretch makes them do, and says, "Wow, you know what? I'm not quite ready for home ownership yet." You know, I, my, it turns out my, my job may be transferring to Atlanta um, in three months. Maybe home ownership isn't quite right for me right now. We take that as a win. Yeah, um, and so we want to make sure that when people do step into home ownership, that they're doing it for the long term, that they are successful in sustainable home ownership, not let's get you into home today and worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. No, we want to be thinking about that long term. Um, home ownership, even today, even after our crisis, is still the number one driver of wealth in the United States of America. And so we want to make sure when people do step into home ownership that they are building long-term wealth, that they're building long-term equity, that they're successful um, you know, five years from now, seven years from now, 10 years from now, not just today. Um, and so that's what we do. We also have support services for people who are already in homes um, who might be either maybe running into some issues, making that house payment, or perhaps falling into foreclosure. Um, when, you know, when the crisis hit 2008, 2010, especially in Minnesota, you know, there were more than 27,000 households that went through foreclosure each of those years. I mean, dramatically high numbers. Those numbers are returning to what I would consider normal. And it's kind of sad to say that there's a normal foreclosure number, but foreclosure happens to people. Yeah. You know, lives, uh, you know, car accidents happen, lives fall apart, marriages sometimes, you know, uh, dissolve. These kinds of things happen. There will always be people who struggle with foreclosure. Um, but we, we, we love the fact that those numbers have returned to somewhat more of a normal phase, but that still means five or 6,000 families are going to lose their home this year in Minnesota to foreclosure. They don't have to fight that alone. There, there, there is this network of non-biased, non-profit organizations who can help walk them through the process and to see what, if anything, can be done to help them avoid foreclosure. In the last three years, the Homeownership Center's network, what's known as the Homeownership Advisors Network, um, has seen more than 35,000 households. More than 60% of them are able to avoid foreclosure. It is the best foreclosure avoidance rate in the country. These people are amazing at what they do. I personally couldn't do it, so my hats are off to them. The, the work that they do and the dedication they give to their clients who are either looking to purchase a home or trying to avoid foreclosure is incredible. Well, I know back when the market was really bad, I think I talked to a lender and they said almost 50 50, 50 percent of the deals were either short sale or foreclosures. Yeah. And it was just, and now I think we're hovering below 3%. Yeah, in, we're in certain areas, but I mean, for the, the general Twin Cities, we're below 3% of short sale foreclosures. So you can you see the, the health of the, the market again is kind of getting back up there. Yeah, health is kind of a, one of those strange <laughs> terms in that um, right now we've, we've actually kind of flipped the, the or turned the corner in that where many first time home buyers who tend to move a little more slowly than experienced buyers or, or an investor, for example, um, especially on the low end of things. So people who are looking in more affordable properties, anywhere from 80 to 150,000, are actually having difficulty finding properties that are both livable sure. and affordable. You know, there's there are inexpensive properties out there, but for first-time home buyers, um, some of those properties need a lot of work. And so we, we've kind of you know we've gone to the other extreme. I, I'd like to see a little more balance in the market on the very low end when people are looking in about the hundred eighty to hundred thousand range. We are seeing over and over again that they're competing with multiple offer situations, places that are on the market for a day or two days. That's not that's not a good situation to be in. We don't want anyone making a decision of where they're going to live for the next five, seven, ten years or more, and have two hours to think about it. it that's just not right either. And so, and and two, as we talked about earlier, is you're, you know, a lot of the homes that are the maybe a, a good deal, you're competing against investors that mm -hmm. come in with a suitcase of money, <laughs> you know. And if I'm selling my house and the person comes out with a suitcase of money, 
yeah, it's you know you don't have to worry about the appraisal. It's pretty much a clean deal. Yeah. So if you're a first time home buyer, you know, kind of going out, and you have to realize that you may be competing against, you know, in, investors too. So by having someone prepared, organized, and, and we we really preach too, like the more prepared and more knowledgeable you are before even starting the process, you're going to be able to compete. In, in, a, in a stronger market. Exactly right. And, and that's why we do what we do with that home buyer education and counseling so that people know exactly step by step what to do. They've already put all of the thought on the front end about what is it, how do they differentiate between their wants and their needs in the first time home buyers. You know, um, everybody would love to be able to afford that, you know, big old property, lots of grass, maybe a swimming pool. Um, or how do I determine what is an absolute need? I need this to be in this area compared to a want. Well, I want an additional bedroom and helping and that's one of the things they do in home stretch or either online through framework is helping determine the needs versus the wants what what is a, a, a deal breaker mm -hmm. and what is it okay I this is I can make this work for the next five years seven years etc um, and in addition the the because like I said that home buyer education unlocks the door to any of the down payment or entry cost assistance uh, programs there are programs out there that can help bring some money. So when you are in those either multiple offer situations or when you are trying to compete against investors on the lower end, you may have a little bit more financial advantage in that the, the down payment program can help you bring a little more money to the table. And in a lot of cases, what we're seeing is that the down payment program, there's lots of them out there, dozens and dozens and dozens um, that are out there um, that what it can do is help people look one more price bracket up from what they could have afforded. So someone having someone else bring 5,000, 7,000, 7,500, maybe even $10,000 to the table. In some cases, there are programs out there as, as much as $25,000 in down payment assistance, $50,000 in some of our, our suburban areas here in the Twin Cities. If someone else can bring that money to the table, that bumps you into a different price bracket. That brings <laughs> you up to a different uh, level where there isn't quite as much competition and you can, and, and the home is actually livable. You know, it's not gonna take, you know, fifty thousand dollars worth of, of right. repair work before you can even live in it. And closing costs as well. Some of those assistance programs yep. maybe help you offset some closing costs. That really helps you in your negotiation exactly. as well. And also, too, uh, city of Minneapolis, I guess, is an easy, easy example. So you can get some state funding, but then whatever particular neighborhood, like the McKinley neighborhood in North Minneapolis, if you live in a particular neighborhood, there might be a particular neighborhood association, or if you have a particular job. So some of these programs exactly all play right. together, where maybe you can get two or three different down payment assistance, closing cost assistance programs that all work together. Yep. Officially, we call that layering. And so you can layer different down payment and entry cost assistance programs. Um, I'm sure any of your loan officers that are listening to the podcast right now are, are, are panicking, they're quaking in their <laughs> boots because they, they do take a little bit of extra work for the lender. Um, but when we're helping the, the first time home buyer, maybe a first generation home buyer, um, get into home ownership, Sometimes it's worth that little extra work to, to get that. And yes, there are a lot of programs that are out there that allow people to layer um, assistance from a, a local religious organization with some down payment assistance from the city and maybe the county. Um, in my experience, the record that I have seen um, is $78,000 worth of down payment and entry cost assistance. Wow. All layered together. It took four months for that to close. Do you know approximately the price point on that? $144,000 purchase. Okay. And Jeez. so, yeah, it was, it was more than half of the actual purchase price. Now, that was back just as the crisis was ending. There was more down payment assistance available at that point. Everyone was trying to recover the market. Um, and I certainly don't want anyone who's listening to the podcast now to think, oh, well, I'm going to be able to pull off. Um, it all depends I'm going to break on where, that record. I'm going to break the record. <laughs> hey, go ahead and try. I'd love to see you try. The, the, it, it depends on where you're looking to live. Um, the county has the funding. Um, and in this case, that $78,000 case, it was also dependent upon where they worked. They had the, their, their corporation actually had a program where they would match down payment assistance. Um, for their employees, and so there was a lot. There were a lot of balls in the air, and so the the agents who were patient and helped put that together, as well as the loan officer, that takes an awful lot of extra work to get someone to the finish line with that kind of work. But there are programs out there, and one of the things that we have at our website at hocmn.org, Home Ownership Center Minnesota, hocmn.org, um, we can, you can search for down payment and entry cost assistance programs using our website. You as agents or your clients or anyone who's listening to the podcast can actually just visit our website, put in an answer. It's like five or six different questions that they answer to see if they might qualify for any of the programs that are out there, who to contact, how much money it is, does it play well with others, meaning can it layer with other assistance, uh, and basically get that ball rolling. 
and also what it actually is it a grant is it a second mortgage exactly you know and, and are there some restri- i think the city of plymouth i was working with a buyer a couple of years ago she was buying from a buyer or seller who took a um, down payment assistance program from the city but they had to stay in the house for seven years or ten yep. years or something like that and they hadn't quite reached that so the next buyer had to be willing to take on that program. So it's really important to understand what you're getting into, what exactly, because grant generally, you know, grant means here's the money, right? Where exactly. Sometimes it's a second, uh, it could be for, forgivable, right? Where it's a, a 30 year forgivable mortgage or second mortgage and different things like that. Yeah, almost all of the programs we have in the state of Minnesota right now will, even when it's a grant program, will still sit as a second lien on the property because even the grant programs generally have a time on them. So you live in the property for five years, seven years, 10 years, whatever the program, each individual program is different. Um, In some cases, it's on a sliding scale. So if you live there for three years, X amount of your money is forgiven until you get to zero. Um, There are other programs that are flat out grants. They sit as soft seconds, basically as a zero interest loan sitting on that property, but it does have to be paid back either upon paying back of the mortgage, if you get to the end of your 20 or 30 year mortgage um, and you pay that off completely, or if you do sell the property, like in the case of Plymouth, if you do sell the property, it does have to be paid back. And that the misunderstanding happens sometimes where someone takes out a loan, let's say now 2016, um, and they do have a 10 year grant on the program. If they sell before 2026, they will either have to pay back the entire amount or a portion, depending on the product. 10 years from now, most clients have forgotten that they took out the grant and that it's sitting there as a lien. And and, and wait a minute, all the rules and all the regulations are, wait a minute, all of a sudden, why do I owe this $7,500 I didn't? And so that happens an awful lot. We wanna make sure, and that's why home buyer education and counseling is so important, that people understand in most cases, a flat out, okay, here's a check for $5,000 to get into home ownership doesn't really exist. There are some programs that are just flat out grants. Um, Most of them do have the different rules and the different um, uh, uh, ways that that works. Clients need to fully understand what it is they're signing when they sign on the dotted line. I think I'm gonna get back to a little bit of what you're talking about with the foreclosure and foreclosure prevention. Sure. One thing that's probably 100, not even probably, is 100% um, avoidable is foreclosing because you didn't have the knowledge. Because there, there are resources, um, or because you're embarrassed, right? Because some people, you get into mm-hmm. a situation, you're too embarrassed, you're, you're, you're getting divorced, or you got some kind of illness or whatever, you're, you lost your job, you're just embarrassed to say anything, yeah. so then you don't, which that's 100% um, avoidable. Mm-hmm. Even after, you know, we've been through a decade of this housing bubble and crisis, and, you know, for a while there, foreclosure was on the front page of the newspaper day after day. Even after all of that news, even after all of this situation, even after all of these stories have come out, it is still horribly embarrassing for the family that is struggling to make that payment for whatever the reason. You know, maybe just mismanagement, financial mismanagement, maybe a job loss, or maybe a divorce situation. Admitting to a complete stranger that you are struggling with your mortgage, even in this in today's climate, is still really embarrassing. But we don't want, because someone is embarrassed, we don't want them to lose their home. Mm-hmm. The sooner they can connect with our nonprofit network, the sooner they can connect with the Homeownership Center and those nonprofits that work under us, the more options they are going to have available to them. If someone is, uh, gives us a phone call today, Tuesday, and says, yeah, the sheriff's sale is Friday, <laughs> The options are very limited. Um, I've seen it happen where they can actually stop things. You know, so even at the last moment, if someone is called, if someone is listening today and they, you know, their sheriff sale is Friday, don't give up, but don't wait until three days before the sheriff sale, or you know, don't wait until two days. Sometimes we get people who are three months into the redemption period going, "Is there anything I can do?" Well, if you had called us six months ago, nine months ago, maybe. Um, And so we want to make sure that consumers, I like to say, we want to talk to consumers when they're worried, not when they're panicked. And so it may take, you know, just uh, the, the, it it sounds harsh to say, you may have to just swallow your pride and make this phone call. There are a lot of vultures out there. There are a lot of people who are still out there trying to take away people's hard earned money. You know, you hear these radio ads at three o'clock in the morning on some of those radio stations. The banks have been given billions and must be bailed out. Now's your opportunity. Give us a call and we'll get this fixed for you today, quick and easy. Nothing is quick and easy in this world. And the longer you wait, the more panicked you are, um, the more likely you are to be taken advantage of Mm -hmm. by these vultures. And so know that, and you know, you're hearing it from trustworthy agents here, there is this non-biased network of nonprofit organizations that this is what they do for a living. They help people avoid foreclosure. And like I said, the, the network in the state of Minnesota is better than anywhere else in the country. Our success rate is better than anywhere else in the country. 
Um, and so if there's a way to avoid foreclosure, the counselors in our network are going to know how to do it. Um, now that said, we can't promise everybody gets to keep the home. Um, you know, no matter how much you've dreamt about having your daughter married in the backyard under pretty little white lights, sometimes there's just nothing that can be done to avoid foreclosure. So in those situations, we want to make sure that the homeowner knows what the process is um, and we want to make sure that they're financially and emotionally ready to step back into homeownership in the future. Basically, I call it soft landing, um, I, uh, something post foreclosure so that they, they can get back into homeownership on the right foot again in the future. So even if nothing can be done at all, there is still an advantage to speaking with those nonprofit counselors. Uh, is, is there a cost? Like let's say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a for, contemplating for, foreclosure and going through the whole process. I contact you guys. Is there a cost on my end or, or how do, how do, how's that It's work? a fantastic question. Thank on you. the foreclosure, <laughs> you're good at this. I've been, how about that? I've been <laughs> stewing on that question. Like, when can I drop the bomb? Drop the, no, <laughs> Boom, here it happens. Here it is. The grenade has been tossed. If you are struggling with your mortgage, no one should ever pay to get help. In the state of Minnesota, paying for foreclosure assistance is illegal. You cannot, should not, no matter what the guy, when they knock on the door and says, well, my lawyer friend has been doing this for 40 years and for $5,000 we can get this fixed. Never, ever, ever, ever pay for foreclosure help. For, on the foreclosure side of things, those counselors are completely free. Our funding, we receive funding through lots of different sources, uh, different governmental agencies, HUD, etc. We are a HUD intermediary organization in the state of Minnesota, uh, state of uh, Minnesota through their housing finance agency, um, as well as many municipalities support the work that our network does. Lots and lots of private philanthropic organizations as well. If you ever watch public television when they say, today's broadcasting brought to you by, <laughs> those are the same people who support us in the work that we do. So someone who's struggling with their mortgage should never ever have to pay to get help. On the pre-purchase side of things, if someone is thinking about stepping into home ownership, um, the workshops, home stretch workshop, does have a fee uh, involved in that. It's generally about $35 here in the metro area, could be up to $50 in, in, in uh, greater Minnesota, except in the month of June. June is National Home Ownership Month. So the vast majority of our providers offer either a reduced rate or in many cases free. So here's a perfect opportunity. You guys are both saying that you're having great Junes. It's a, you know, mm -hmm. we're almost to June. You guys are having great Junes. It's looking like it's gonna be a great June. Well, let's make it a great June for the clients as well. Exactly. Um, there's an opportunity to take um, the home stretch workshop either free or at reduced prices. And if they visit our website at hocmn.org, they can check out all of the workshops that are available between now and December basically, and see that most of the ones in June are free. They will fill up fast. We've already had, the, for example, Washington County, um, the HRA in Washington has already filled up their June class. There were people who were just waiting for us to announce that it was free <laughs> and lined it up. You know, they lined it up with their clients because we've been doing this for a couple of years. So a lot of agents remember, okay, don't take it in May. Wait till June. That's not what we're trying to do either, but it happens. Um, and the, the counseling. So if someone needs a little bit of additional one-on-one -on -one handholding, they want to review their options for down payment assistance, or they just want somebody to look at their credit before they step into the lender's office and start applying for the mortgage, they'd just like someone to be able to pull their credit without damaging it. We do only soft pulls on the credit in, in our network. Um, they just want to see, am I ready for homeownership yet? Or am I, hey, you know what? I think I had a judgment a couple of years ago. Is that on, still on my record? Is that still there? they can sit down with those counselors once again for free. So that, that, that counseling is available entirely for free. And what I always say to agents as well is, come and take the home stretch class. Sit down with your client, take it with them, take it on your own. I can guarantee you that after you sit through home stretch, you will send every one of your clients to home stretch because you, you will understand, oh my goodness, they're teaching everything. Normally what takes me eight hours to explain to a client, they've already told them. And they have pretty little pictures and they do it nicely too. Um, <laughs> and so that my process as an agent will go much more smoothly because my buyers know what they're doing as well. And it's available online and in person? Yep, the, in the month of June, uh, online is still has its normal fee. Online is about $75 per household. It's exactly $75 per household, known as Framework. And that's available through frameworkhomeownership.org. They can get it through our website as well. There's a link through our and website. And we'll have it on, the, on our, our video too. On the video as well, fantastic. Um, or hocmn.org for our website, either in person or online. Okay, and then also Framework is available in multiple languages. Do I have that correct? You have it correct on both, both classes, okay. both workshops. Framework is available in Spanish and in English. Um, uh, Homestretch is available in just about any language you can imagine. On a regular basis, that's available here in most um, uh, in Spanish, in English, 
in Hmong, Karen, um, lots of different, Af we have African organizations who do it in different African languages throughout uh, the year. And if a consumer needs, let's say for example, maybe sign language. It's not that they need a language assistance, but they, they actually need a different interpreter. Or if they speak a language that just isn't offered in our network, it happens. If it's not offered in our network, we will make sure that that client gets, the, gets interpreters at that workshop. This information is so valuable, we want to make sure that consumers get it in a language that they understand. It's very valuable information, Ed, yep. so we appreciate you stopping by. Yep. Throw out the website again. It, one more time, www.hocmn.org. All right, we appreciate you stopping by, and we'd love to have you back. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anytime. Okay. Loved it. Thank so that's you. Ed Nelson. He's the Marketing and Communications Manager for the Minnesota Home Ownership Center. My name is Ron Johnson, licensed real estate agent with REMAX Advantage Plus. David Nelson, also licensed real estate agent with REMAX Advantage. We have to say that because the DOC gets mad if we yeah. don't say our brokers. And they love watching our show. Yeah. <laughs> so we're both licensed real estate agents with REMAX Advantage Plus. We appreciate you joining us for the Twin Cities Real Estate Pros podcast, whether you're live on Facebook or checking us out on YouTube or on SoundCloud. We will catch you next week on the Twin Cities Real Estate Pros podcast. Thank you.